Hello and welcome to this mix-up. This mix-up features um, Frosty, since 1939, Frosty Ginger Ale made with cane sugar. This quart bottle was $1.25 at Winn-Dixie, a grocery chain which is owned by Aldi. Uh, 90 calories per serving. And the serving is eight ounces, so it's 360 calories actually for this bottle. Still not that bad for a quart bottle. Produced under the authority of Frosty Root Beer, Detroit, Michigan. Ingredients, carbonated water, pure cane sugar, not high fructose corn syrup like with, with uh, The uh, Seagram's Ginger Ale and the, uh, what's that one, Club, Can Club Canadian, whatever that one's called. Um, lemon, okay, so pure cane sugar, ginger, real ginger, lemon and lime oils, so actual oil from lemon and lime, natural flavor, citric acid, and caramel color. All right. Didn't hiss too too well, so hmm. this is going to be a good one. Now we got Nikolai introduced in 1941. Nikolai, this the green label premium vodka with premium liqueur, interest introduced by the Seagram's Joseph Seagram's company. Oh yeah, Canada Dry ginger ale is what the one I was thinking of. Um, they used to even make Canada Dry bourbon and. Canadian whiskey, but something happened. They don't make it anymore, to my knowledge. Uh, so, um, Nikolai introduced in 1941 by Seagram's and sold to Sazerac in 1989. It's still made by Sazerac at the Buffalo Trace Distillery in Frankfort, Kentucky. There's a black label, Pure Vodka, but I didn't get that. They didn't have it at Total Wine. This is the premium vodka or premium liqueur. There's the red label, 100 proof vodka. And then you have all the flavored Nikolai, red berry, pineapple. Um, I think there's a whipped cream flavor and so forth. As similar to Taka, Taka has all the flavors. They probably mirror each other, probably the same. Whatever flavor Taka has, they probably got a Nikolai uh, version. All right, version. So I poured the um, Nikolai premium vodka with premium look here, 40% alcohol. It smells Basically, neutral vodka should have no aroma and no flavor, as if you read the U.S. government guidelines for vodka. And it can never touch wood. It cannot be aged in any form or fashion in wood. And it cannot be aged at all. It has to be in like a metal container. Once it starts touching wood, then it begins to be, it would become whiskey. unless it was grape vodka, in which case it would be, begin to become brandy. All right, but anyway, uh, this is, for whatever reason, blended with a premium liqueur of some sort. And I don't know what the reasoning is behind that, but there has to be some reasoning. That's why it's not quite neutral. Oh, it's close. Okay, so it's got a yellowish appearance from the ginger ale, as you could imagine. Let's go with it. Mm, smells like ginger ale. Is this a good mix-up? Yes. Nikolai is very mild. There's no harsh uh, attributes, no harsh features. It's not nasty in any way. So if you say, well, I would like to buy an inexpensive vodka product, this could be a very good choice. Now, they make many others at Buffalo Trace that are, and at Glenmore, because they also own Glenmore Distillery and more like in northwestern Kentucky. And um, Glenmore has, well, I think they make a, a one called Glenmore Vodka, but they even more common is Skull. And then there's the Skull Premium, which is the premium vodka with premium liqueur. 
There's Taka from Buffalo Trace, but also Taka 80, Taka 80 proof, premium vodka with premium liqueur. Um, there's Dobra, but that's all vodka. I haven't seen a premium liqueur mix, but Dobra might be good too. I don't know. I've had Taka. It's fine. I had the Taka 100. Nothing wrong with it. A bit strong though. I've never had Skull uh, vodka or Skull premium. I had Skull dry white rum and the um, rich gold. Never had Dobra. Okay, so I can't comment on too many um, vodka brands, but uh, I've had a, I've had a few. Cats and Best Off no longer made. And I've had uh, Crown Russ. There's also now a Crown Russ Premium. Same thing, the liqueur thing. Um, I've had a little 50 milliliter bottle of Seagram's Vodka, old brand, the basket weave bottle. One of the top selling vodkas in the United States, Seagram's. It was very nice. I prefer their gin, and even more so prefer their uh, Distillers Reserve Black and Gold Label Gin. Hard to find, but that's a great American gin. Um, I'm sure they would all do great in mix-ups. Um, yeah, this was fine. It was a fine little simple cocktail. Now, how's the Frosty going to taste on its own? Because, like, I'm going to save. I'll show you in a minute what I'm going to pair it with tomorrow. I'll save it the other pint of it and do a mix up tomorrow and really ratchet down hard on that cap to let the carbonation stay in there. Plastic's malleable, you know, so it should really make a good seal for overnight, 24 hours. I know there's going to be frosty ginger ale reviews, so I intend to watch them. Now the cane sugar makes all the difference, it makes a world of difference. This is a very light ginger ale. It's not going to be super heavy flavored, but it is there. Get the lemon oil, get the lime oil, get the ginger. So, smooth and easy going. Can you get this in glass bottles? Yes. Uh, but they're only 11.2 ounces, so the plastics are... Uh, and the price per ounce is about the same, so it just depends what stores you're finding it out. I don't know why when dixie decided to carry these singles, but I'm going to take advantage Oh, that that's it. So if you got if you insist on drinking a soft drink, and I never insist on it, I never even do it, aside from mix-ups. Get the pure sugar ones. Uh, I'm finding more and more, uh, quite a few, but uh, you know, 90% of what you see out there is the high fructose corn syrup uh, atrocities. But uh, there there are the pure cane sugar ones out there. People are learning about it, and. Uh, saying, oh no, I'm never going back to the old, bad old days. But, um, yeah, this is uh, really great. Now, is there a Canada Dry Pure Cane Sugar version? Is there a Seagram's from Coca-Cola? I think Canada Dry is from, uh, I'm pretty sure it's from um, DP, Dr. Pepper, um, So, uh, uh, yeah, Keurig, Dr. Pepper, KDP, they merge. Keurig, make the little coffee cups, Dr. Pepper, merge. KDP, yeah, um, sorry about that. Is there a, a pure cane sugar Canada Dry or a pure cane sugar um, Seagram's? Uh, maybe, I wasn't expecting to see a pure cane sugar Sprite or a pure cane sugar... Um, Fanta orange, but I found them. So yeah, winner. This is very light, like I said, a very light ginger ale on its own merits. It's a little bland, but it, uh, it's very nice and nothing off-putting. So I'll go with a B plus, 88 out of 100 on that, 88, 88 out of 100. Nikolai probably be about the same score. A very good uh, premium vodka or premium liqueur. If I saw the black label Nikolai, I would, you know, I would consider buying it if it was the same price. But I, you know, I've got this other one. Here's what I'm going to use tomorrow for the mix-up. 
Vadovska, triple distilled and 10 times filtered imported sugarcane vodka. Oh my goodness. Now, not the same as rum. They I read a detailed article, article like what makes sugarcane vodka different from rum. There's a difference, this distinct difference, but uh, the flavor I didn't find was that distinct. Um, in other words, I tried it, and to me it just tasted like white, silver, clear rum, whatever terminology you want to use. It tasted like a very nice, enjoyable Uh, silver rum, but it isn't rum. It's vodka. So <laughs> That's it. So this is a winner. So Lazy Le Bon Ton Relay, uh, a good mix up to try and uh, the caramel color boy They were really low on the caramel color. They did not They were not heavy-handed on that at all. Look how pale it is. So yeah oh. Detroit Keep it going with frosty because we want more. I've had the root beer I've had what the cream, cream, soda, I don't know, a few others, and they're all winners. All winners. Just goes to show you, it can be done, and you can still sell a quart for a dollar twenty-five, shipped all the way from Detroit at the top of the United States down to here in the bottom of the United States, and uh, and it's it's less expensive than the high fructose corn syrup ones. It can be done, but you just got to not, you know, just don't let yourself get hosed by these mac macro major companies that's going to hustle you with the cheapo stuff. So thanks, and uh, <clears throat> be back tomorrow with the next one. All right, bye-bye.